Hey guys, Pelagia here, so now on my drone. Let me just start by saying Happy New Year. Happy 2018. So this is my first video of the new year. I hope for all you guys, 2017 was great. And this new year, 2018, is going to be an even more kick-ass year for you guys. So to kick off the year, this video is going to be about some lenses for smartphones. So if you're interested in that, uh, stick around. We'll hit the intro and we'll get right at it. So here we are guys, we're at the park, I got my trusty iPhone 6 Plus, the camera that I use for my vlogs. Uh, right now you're looking at me through an iPad, I'm just using it temporarily for this video because obviously I'm going to be talking about my iPhone. Now for my iPhone, I got myself in these boxes two lenses for the iPhone. Now one of them is a wide angle lens that will give you a wider perspective when you're filming, so a wider point of view of the of your shot and the second one is going to be a telephoto lens which is a zoom lens the wide angle lens is an 18 millimeter lens and the um, zoom lens is a, a 60 millimeter lens so why a wide angle lens well it's easy when you film yourself through your iPhone you are stretching yourself out so you can fit in the picture but ultimately you're losing a lot of background so that's what the wide angle lens is for. It'll capture more of your background and reducing the size of yourself for a better view. So that's what the wide angle does. It gives you a wider view of the background while reducing the size of yourself and makes things look better. Now, the zoom lens. So the zoom lens will help you take close up of uh, objects that you wanna be shooting. Uh, that way you don't have to use the digital zoom of your smartphone, it gives you a sharper image if you use a zoom lens. It also is great for b-roll. B-roll, if you guys don't know, are those little clips that you introduce while people are talking, like the ones you probably are looking at right now. You use slow motion and uh, zoomed into objects, uh, let's say a tree, uh, leaves, flowers, uh, etc. That makes your video look even more interesting. So the lenses are made for the rear camera of your smartphone. So the lens goes mounted on the rear of your iPhone. Now the manufacturer has mounts for your specific iPhone, so make sure when you order it, you are looking at the correct mount for your specific mobile device. So this is the mounting plate for the 6S Plus. So this is the mounting plate. The lens goes through this hole and the flash and this little other lens, well I don't know what that is, but anyway, that goes through here. So in essence, what's gonna happen is we're gonna mount it just like so. So we're gonna peel off this protector that's here and then the sticky part is right underneath it. So this peels off. So we've already cleaned it with a cloth and we're going to lay it just on top of it. Real lightly. Once it looks lined up and you think you're ready to go, just press on it. And that's it. You've mounted the plate to the phone. So now let's get into the lenses. These lenses are from Moment. This one in particular is the wide angle lens, the 18 millimeter lens. Let me zoom in here. You got a little picture here. And there's the lens itself. This 18 millimeter. 
and there it is. Comes with a little bag inside, that way you can store it and transport. And your little baggie says 18 millimeters, so that way you don't get confused with any other lens. And now the other lens, the telephoto or zoom lens. This little card here shows you how to install the lens on the mount. Here's the lens. And with its own little 60 millimeter bag. There you have it. Now to install the lens on the mount. The lens right here, in the back of it, has a little white dot. Now the white dot goes horizontal to the phone. You slide it in and then twist it clockwise and it's mounted. Now you gotta make sure when it's mounted, it's straight. You don't want it to be crooked because if it's crooked, then your image is gonna be crooked. Now to remove it, counterclockwise and pull it out. Once again, dot, horizontal, push it in, make sure it's flush, twist it clockwise, and it's on. To remove it, counterclockwise, and pull out. Simple as that. Now let's try it out with the phone. So it's mounted. And there you go. Nice wide angle. A nice wide angle. So there it is guys. This is my iPhone 6 Plus with the wide angle lens. All right, so this is with the lens, without the lens, without the lens, and with the lens. Now the zoom lens or telephoto lens works the same way. Little dot, horizontal, clockwise. It's on. To remove it, counterclockwise, pull it out. Simple as that. And for storage, 60 millimeter, 60 millimeter bag. Eighteen millimeter. Eighteen millimeter bag. That way you don't get confused. There you have them. So another thing I wanted to mention is if you have a protective case for your iPhone, like the one I have here, it still fits with the mount and the lens. So it just goes like this, same thing, exact same thing. Dot horizontal on the thing, on the mount, twist, and it's on. So iPhone with the mount and the lens, works great. Now I don't guarantee this for every single um, protective case, but at least the one that I have. It's the one from Affinity. It's a little bit thick, but it still works. So I guess um, just buyer beware. Um, just something that you uh, know that the mount phone and the lens, it works all together. That way you don't have to take, in my case, I don't have to take the um, 
protective case whenever I want to use it. So that's pretty cool. So I keep the protective case, mount, and the lens. Thumbs up. Now the question is, should I invest in these lenses and are they worth it? In my opinion, in my case, yes, they are worth it. For shooting video, just use whatever you have available to you. You don't have to go and buy an expensive uh, camera, a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, because they are quite expensive. Uh, if you have a phone, and if you're intimidated on starting something, uh, especially for YouTube or so, uh, because you don't have an expensive camera, just use your phone if you have one. Everybody's got a phone. All right, so don't be discouraged uh, on trying to do something, especially video-wise or even YouTube, um, because you don't have the equipment. Phones nowadays, smartphones nowadays, have great camera capabilities. So if you have one, use it. You don't even need lenses to do so. But if you want something that'll help, a lens, lenses like these will work really well for your videos. Now, these are not the only lenses available out there. Uh, and by the way, I'm not being paid or sponsored by anybody. I got these myself so I can do some um, uh, video editing and improve my uh, videos for my YouTube channel. But there are um, several other manufacturers that have uh, lenses for your smartphones. Some of them are clip-on lenses and I'm not too fond about those because it has a clip protruding on your camera and and I would think it would be easy to move it around and um, probably even ruin your shot if you have them clipped on. I haven't had my hands on them. I can't uh, give my opinion about them but they just don't look well. Uh, so I was more drawn into these lenses that mount on your phone. In my opinion, I prefer these uh, moment lenses. The quality is outstanding. It looks like a professional lens. It's really hard. Um, I don't know if it's mellow or not, but it looks really hard and the lens is pretty thick, if you can see. So I'm really happy about these. These look professional and uh, sturdy, heavy duty. They look really nice. So if any of the other manufacturers, the clip-on ones, I don't even know their names, but if anybody wants me to try them out and give my honest opinion, feel free to uh, shoot me a comment and uh, we'll go from there. But until now, I'm sticking with the moment. And moment, hello, if you want me to try out something else, let me know. I'll be happy to, uh, to try something else. So just to sum it up, your iPhone shoots great video. Nowadays, even now with the 7, 8, and iPhone 10, uh, the video keeps getting better and better and better. So help it out with some lenses. That's my opinion. If, if you don't have ways to invest into a, a more expensive, super expensive DSLR. So if you have your phone, want to start your YouTube channel, this is a great way to do it. So that's it, guys. Uh, this is the first video of the year, 2018. Welcome, 2018. I would like to thank you for sticking around. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe, hit that like button, uh, share it with your friends, help this channel grow. So um, until the next time, I'm Palacho from Sonoma by Drone, signing out. Peace. You crazy mother...